Worst of the worst. You know what I'm saying like nigga, you go to my block, shit just look like hell, like like hell. Like, Where are you from? from? Where are you from originally? I'm from Philly, Germantown, Pulaski Avenue. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Project right there, Queen Lane, 301. You know Would you I mean? rather rap or produce if you had the I choice? Mean, I like doing both. You know what I mean, I started out rapping first, then I started making the beats, and I was just dope at making beats. I'm like, damn. Then I had Matt Cass. So at mm -hmm. the same time, I'm like, damn, you 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 like one of the dopest niggas I done met. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm a, I'm a chill with the rap shit. I'm just gonna focus making beats on for you and shit. So that's kinda how I really like started just doing the beats and shit, like hard and not worrying about the raps. But you know, niggas can't fuck with me anyway. Not Any saying, one like, person that's shit, out but just on my song making, like my song making capabilities is retarded. My hook game is retarded. Niggas know my beat game is tremendous. So there's nothing to put a little 12, two 12s and a little bridge on a on a knocking song that's knocking already. Like niggas know, like niggas know me. I'm a producer. I'm not a beat nigga. So I give hooks out. Like the song is already done when a nigga rapping on the shit. You know what I'm saying? So if like, they're worthy, you just give it for free. Hmm? If they're worthy, <laughs> would you just give it for free? I mean, nobody do nothing for free. I mean, okay. it, might, it might be free <laughs> at the time, you know what I'm saying? But eventually, shit gonna turn into, it's gonna turn into bread, and that's when everybody mm -hmm. can eat mm -hmm. off this song. Like Jewel's, the Mike Check's um, song I did for Jewel's. I like that song a lot. I know, that's that's why he able to okay. do the songs he able to do now. I didn't know that was you. Because of that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, without that record, he wouldn't be able to do none of them other records. Like, that, that record right there kind of solidified his shit. Like, I'm here forever, you know what I'm saying? So you still down with Rough Riders? I still fuck with Rough Riders. Who are you feeling the most right now? But I'm signed to me, to my company. Mm -hmm. Who I'm feeling the most right now, I don't even feel nobody the most right now. I can't even lie, like... I be listening to different shit, like, just different type of music, different, you know what I'm saying, different genre of music, like, I'm not just listening to rap, or no shit like that, I'm listening to... So, who do you like outside of rap? For Sibo, um, I listen to a lot of old music, Barry White, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, just, you know, a lot of old, older music. Where do you get your inspiration from? Me, I'm my inspiration. You know what I'm saying? I know what I come from and what I'm not trying to go back to. You know what I'm saying? The way of living. You know what I mean? So I like living like this. I like going shopping. I like doing different shit that I wasn't able to do. Or look out for my niggas when they need it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like being able to do that. So that's that's my inspiration. Not going back to being on the run and no stupid shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Not being able to do this and go ahead when I need to go ahead type shit. Ask a nigga to hold me down for uh, chicken and rice and gravy. You know what I'm like, so how old are you? For those that don't know, I'm 26 years old. Okay. Um, Who do you feel like is gonna be a problem in the next few years? Like we just better watch out. On the next few years, a problem. Next problem. I got my own group too, the Fifth Ave Boys. 
Y'all watch out for these little niggas. They fly little. How old are they? They 19, 18. You know what I mean? They get fresh. That's all they do. What did you think about Diggy's freestyle? I like Diggy's freestyle. To made you look. Isn't he cute? I would mean, you like, in cool, a, you know would you do a song with him? Yeah, why not? Do you, you think he's better than JoJo? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, like, it's like some niggas got it. You could tell, like, when a nigga trying, like, when I'm on that, over there on the beats and that, that keyboard right there, you could tell I'm not trying to do that yeah. shit. Like, I just make hot music. It just come out. Like, anything I touch, just playing around. Like, a nigga have a beat on already. And I just come over there and play around with the shit, just playing around. Like, let me fuck with it real quick. And it's gonna sound hot. Like, so, you know when a nigga got it and, and a nigga don't. And, so, Diggy you know, got, got, got it. Yeah, I think Diggy got it. He young too, so he got time, you know what I'm saying? So. What do you think about Corey Gunn signing to Young Money? I don't know. Like, do you think he's gonna shine or, like. I mean. We had a debate a, about a this on over, the show. There's a lot of people over there, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, is the focus going to be on him? I'm I'm not sure how they, how they shit works, so I can't really comment on Young Money's machine. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. i never been over there, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a part of that situation, so I don't know, like, if, um, if he going to be the focus or if he going to get shine. You know, only the future could tell that, you know what I'm saying? But... It could be a good situation. It could be a bad situation. Congratulations on the situation, though. You know what I'm saying? No niggas had to cut a check, so at least a nigga could get some bread, make some money, and that's that's the main thing. You know what I'm saying? Any R&B artist that you would ever work with? Have you done an R&B song? Yeah, I don't work with Beyonce. What song did you do? I, I didn't make Beyonce album because situations. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But I was guaranteed to have a single. On there, you know what I'm saying? I was over there fucking with Rock Nation too, like um, Jay and them niggas, like mm -hmm. for, for like two years. Like that was like from 2006 to 2008, I was over there fucking with them. So in the midst of that time, when Beyonce was working on her album, me and her was in the, in the studio for seven days. I'm the only nigga she had in the studio for seven days. You know what I'm saying? So and not one song made the cut? It didn't make the Seven cut days. the situation, like contractual. Yeah. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I was supposed to sign a Rock Nation. What kind of song I was it? I didn't do it. It was a single. It was crazy. All my records that we did was Like crazy. a club. We did a joint call off the... One of them dancing in leotard the type of song. Tell the names because I might still sell these records. You know yeah. Saying? But um, the shits was crazy. We did a dance joint, like a real fun type of joint. Then we did a, like, a joint for like the... You know, a joint that's going to play in Harlem and, and girls going to be like, oh, that's my shit, that's my shit. <laughs> then we did a, um, another joint like that, girls that's in love, or girls that got boyfriends or husbands. And so you hit like every that. angle. Yeah, How I hit every angle. How was it working with her? It was, it was like a dream, like at first, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I couldn't believe that that was happening. Like they like, yo, Beyonce got you booked for seven days, like on the shit. And they just said that. I was like, damn, like. I don't know how to explain it, like, there's no, it's, I can't explain it, you know what I'm saying? Like, every day I was waking up, it's like, I wasn't even, not like, looking at the uh, the girl that was in the crib in my house, or nothing like that, it was like, I was just so excited to, to, to work, it's like, nothing else, I wasn't paying attention to nothing else, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, you know, the only thing I know, I gotta get to the studio, work with Beyonce, like, that's the biggest thing that I, yeah. I had going on, so. Yeah, but she still fuck with me. Jay still fuck with me. OG Wan, Tata, -ta, Jay Brown, the whole Rock Nation. I could go over there and sign to them tonight if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? But so hopefully we'll see something soon. Say La V, DTF Radio, we in here. You know, Neo the Matrix up in Powerhouse Studios and Yonkers, Y.O. A lot of people don't even come up here, don't even know about the Yonkers shit. You know what I mean? Hi. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, that's what's up. Y'all came up here, show love to the family, move. Drag me, you know what I mean? Okay. You know, we here.